say listen of course for joining the empowerment platform so if you can turn on your camera now and show up please and oh i was waiting i didn't know if i was <laughs> i was gonna i was gonna tease you a little bit so i'm not coming out i don't i can't do this <laughs> <laughs> there you are doing it i'm here i'm trying to have fun you know me if i can't have fun comfort what an honor and a pleasure to be here. Thank you for inviting me. Sure, the honor is ours. It's just a good thing, Chris. I'm just happy that finally I've got you here just to tell you because from the very first day I saw you, I'm just like, he's just a happy person. He's always happy. What's all this, you know? Because each time I see you, I just love, I just start smiling because he makes me smile. It's such a blessing having you here. Oh, Thanks for joining me. Where's my Kleenex? Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> So, you know, let, let's let's start business right right straight away, straight to, to the point. Guys, join us this conversation. Say hi to our brother Chris in the house. Just be excited. I know that excitement here is real and real, real, real. So, Chris, you know, I might be wrong. Yeah, but before I get to where I'm, whether I'm wrong or right, uh, we have been seeing ourselves for the past couple of years, depending when you joined, but I know definitely I came after you because I joined in 2020. Can you please just tell us a tiny bit about yourself, what you would like the public to know about you, please? Thank you. Wow. Well, actually, I came in in 2020 myself. Um, I think, to be honest, I'm just a normal guy. I spent most of my life working. As most of you know, I work for... Uh, Actually, Mazda Motors and Ford Motor Company. I worked for two companies. Uh, we built Mazdas and Fords, and I did that for 32 years. As yeah. far as what I'm doing now to, compared to my other life, my other life was just work, and I'd help people as it goes along. You know, if I see someone, I'd throw them a couple of dollars. Nothing like I'm able to do right now, but I think I'm just a normal, humble person. Um, don't, you know, I just, I like being that way. I, I just like to be a normal guy, to be honest with you. What else do you want to know? I'm five foot eight. I can think of myself very sexy, as everyone knows that. But <laughs> Sure, sure. Everybody finds you sexy. You're a happy person. That's very important to us. I think everybody feels the way I do because everyone know Who doesn't know Chris, you know? So it feels like you've been here forever, like the 2018 and 2019 us. But then, yeah, yeah thank you for joining. It's yeah. important, I think, comfort to, to laugh every day. So most people know I'm a jokester or I, I mean, sometimes I say really silly things just because I think when you laugh, man, it makes you feel so good. Yes. And you could throw laughing and giving away. Woo. That's, that's a perfect match right there. I call that the perfect storm right there. Exactly. Of course it is indeed. It is. Uh, I think that's one of the most uh, life uh, lengthening. I don't know if that's the word uh, medicine. So laughter yes. is a good thing. Perfect yeah. word, medicine. That's perfect. <laughs> yes. So I know by now, everybody watching you or the 1.4 that are part of Impassive, we already know who you are. We know how passionate you are about this entire business, this, um, this um, humanitarian movement of a business. We know your, your passion, especially for all bless and all of the things that you are doing. We would just like to know, Chris, uh, what exactly or what are some of the things you are planning to do for your immediate uh, community? I am being specific here because uh, according, especially with the, with the, within the ambit of Unpassive, your community is anybody around the world. But I'm just referring here to your immediate community where you live, what you have in mind when we talk about Obless and what your passion. Well, you know what? You don't have enough hours in the day to tell you all the things I want to do, but I can start. Um, as you know, we started all this uh, with Ash Mafara about homeless people, about, about veterans that were homeless, just people in general living on the street. Now, probably no more than my state than a lot of states or countries. Yeah, we have homeless people. Uh, they're all over the place. I can drive down the road and I can see them on corner stand there, you know, work for food or help out. And uh, it's one of the first things I want to see. I've witnessed people on holidays, Christmas morning, Easter morning, yes. you know, special family days, seeing families sitting out there saying, please help anything uh, to feed their kids. And and I'm sorry if you're a normal human being, that hurts. And you, and you ask yourself, why? Why are those people standing in the street? especially when we have 
uh, so many things that, that help individuals out, but really it doesn't help everyone out. People still don't know where to go. Um, and I think one of the biggest challenges I don't want to see, uh, I just watched Michael Williams and Julie and Michael said something very smart, which mm-hmm. he always does. I'm just kidding you, Michael. Um, he said, you know, the, the thing about trying to, there's always going to be poor people. He said this and, and he doesn't believe his opinion that it's not, you know, it's, there's always going to be some poor people somewhere. Yes. Absolutely. Right. But he said, the most important thing is, is if we can knock it down, if we, if it's a, it, let's say if it's a hundred percent, we knocked it down to 50%. That's, that's a huge, very huge thing to do. And that's really my goal. Me in my head, my opinion now is, yeah, I want to knock it all down. I don't right. want to see anyone on the street unless they want to be there. So that's a big thing. Um, I think another big thing is be able to, I'm a big love watching people on YouTubes, by the way. And I love seeing these people travel all over the United States, all over the world. And just walking up to to people that are living on the street or just in general. I want to be that person. I want to be the person in my community that's sitting at a gas station, filling up gas tanks all day for free. (laughs) Going to supermarkets, making sure people got everything they need in their cart and not have to look at, oh, that's over my budget. And take it back, especially if they have children with them. But to me, I'm not going to be judgmental. Whoever's in that line that day, they're going to get free groceries. And, I, and I'm hoping uh, that it turns them around because I believe that's what, what happens in the world is when someone does a good thing, hmm. that person remembers it. You know, they, we called it pay. Actually, Oprah Winfrey, pay it forward, if you remember. Get on a bridge. I pay for yes. this guy. He, and it went down the line. And, line. and eventually someone's going to say, hey, man, thanks. for them. They're going to drive on. But in the process, you might have had 1,500 people that said, the person in front of me paid for my bridge deal? Yeah. Right. I want to do it for that person. And and I don't know, but that spread so wonderful. You know, um, giving back, paying it forward is the old way. We're exactly. talking about on Passive the Blessed changing lives permanently for the better. And right. that's what I really want to do. If you want to know what my passions are, mind if I don't think about myself anymore. I know people's lives because every life I get to change, it changes me for the better. So that's enough answer. That's, that's, that's very, very true. And more than enough, you know, Chris, I never knew until on passive came the topic we're on is something that always makes me get really emotional because I've discovered a lot apart from the wonderful food people I've met like yourself, like many others, I had a chat here last time with Jim Bell. You remember Jim Bell? I know James. Yeah. I learned from Jim Bell for the first time that amongst all the all the people that you find on the streets, there are veterans amongst them. Yes. Just close your eyes and think what these people go through, and then end up on the street, and then this and one day we will have an opportunity like this one. So I know what exactly what you are talking about because it comes from deep down. Yes. And thanks be to God, we are fully empowered and ready to move on and get down to them. I think it's doable. Yeah. So, you know, like like, like what Michael says, uh, as you are confirming, we cannot change everybody. You cannot right. change the whole world. But as Ash said, you can change somebody's world. And that goes, of course, a long way. Let me get a bit more particular. I've, get, I've got to know that at some point you are worried equally about people who live like in brothels and so I'm po- I'm touching it because it touches me. You are not a woman. Right. I've never been there, but people help some people go because it's something they have been through. Right. What, what do you what do you think? What 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 is in mind when you have these particular people in mind? Well, number one, none of us have walked in everyone's shoes, and the stories that I've heard just through the founders who have lived some of the things that we've discussed. And their heartfelt said, I don't ever want any child to have to go through what I did. I mean, I was on a lady named Yvonne's show the other day, and uh, she was expressing the, you know, she had gone through hard times. She's got scars, and she does not want any child to have to live, no matter where they're really not impassive. We're not saying, oh, let's go to this country, and that's it. No, no, we're talking about a global aspect of helping individuals out. Let's, let's make it that, um, and, and, and I get in my head comfort. I got to believe that a hundred percent of the things are wrong. A hundred percent of these things can be fixed because yeah. we'll try where there has been people that tried here and there and they done things, but it, it wasn't 
as big as impact as Impassive is going to have. Because literally, we have people in every single country of the world. Yeah, they're going to help out their communities, and it's going to grow, and it's going to spread, and it's going to be the most prettiest garden you've ever seen. When these Amen. people that are have been scarred are saying, "Listen, nah, no, 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 that, that's this isn't right. Let me do something to help you." And that's all it takes, guys. It's that simple. Let me do something to help you. If right. everyone just can learn to say instead of saying, "Well, it doesn't really matter to me. It doesn't affect me." Don't think that way because hmm. believe it or not, someday it could affect you. And guess exactly. what? The two people yeah. you see on the screen, we're going to be there to help you no matter what. But change your mindset to say, yeah, I don't want bad things to happen to people, nor do I want it to happen to me. But change right. that mindset. Right, right. Exactly, Chris. You know, you've said a lot, but something really stands out. You say if a hundred times they get spoiled or get go wrong, the hundred times they can be fixed. I think the very first giant step is identifying that there's something wrong. And the best part of it is that you and myself are fully empowered. So yes. why not go fix it? You know, right. So it's it's just a wonderful blessing we are in. And I believe that the job, the journey is yet about to begin. That's how I always talk about look about it and that's going to be the most uh it's going to be a tough journey yeah if, if you ever go on i do a lot of youtube and tiktok why looking at things what people are helping and i've used the the cities uh san francisco san diego mm -hmm. absolutely gorgeous but yet there's more people living on the streets and a lot of them either drug related or mental issues and and people are ignoring that. We should never ignore that because, believe it or not, those people really don't want to live like that. It's something they fell into. They're addicted. We have things that I believe can help any individual out that wants it. So, listen, um, the truth is comfort. There are going to be some people that say, you know what, dude, just leave me alone. I don't want to deal with it. Yeah. But I, I know eventually they're going to come around. I don't give up, but I'm not going to pester them because I know they're – Deeply, they're emotional. There's something really wrong. And I'm the kind of person that says, I, I got to figure this out. I, I can't yes. walk away from this individual. And yeah. I think if a lot of people felt that way, we're not trying to be nosy. We yeah. truly really want to care about the person. Exactly. Some people think that their worth is nothing. Don't worry about me. I'm okay. No, 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 no. There's something <laughs> wrong. With, and we want to help you. You know, But we want to do it on your terms, your pace. Right. We can't force anyone and do something they don't want to. But... We definitely want to help them out. That that's the big thing I love about a passive. It's about just helping people out. Exactly. That that's just it. Thank you, Chris. You know, you know, on passive to me, and people who who read the Bible, I'm not trying to preach the Bible here, but on passive is like the Bible. You no, know, like love your neighbor as yourself. Amen. I'm saying this because earlier on I asked about your immediate community because you are already touching your communities, loving your neighbors right across the, 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 the globe you are you the past couple of days you have been on our headlines oh you're building this school you're just trying to erect this building that was shattered and stuff and stuff and stuff how did this come to your attention and why did you take a, a, a hostage of it i don't know if hostage is the right word ownership of it and uh, you did what you did I, I can never say i claimed ownership because william and, and some other ladies have been doing this for a long time. And matter of fact, Comfort, I'm glad you said it that way because there are more now that I know of since we started doing this, more people have come out and say, Chris, I need some help with this orphanage or I need yes. help with this use. Hardest thing for me is like, I said, well, right now I'm trying to do this, but just I'm going for the record. This was something that um, I decided to do because I believe God called me to do it. Right. It's not an official oh bless. But I want to let people know that this is, it was like a trial for me. Attending God was saying, hey, let's see what you got, Mr. Chris. Amen. And I got, I accept that challenge. I want to accept it. This was about myself and what I've always wanted to do. But I have a lot of people that are going to help me do it. And it succeeded. It's still succeeding. But Amen. it's not officially oh, blessed yet. I want to clear that up to everyone. Mm -hmm. But I know everyone that has donated, every country of a person are on passive. They're on passive yeah. people. And to me, they're gearing up because they are ready. Listen, individuals in a passive are ready to start helping out. Some of them gave their last dollar. That's the honest to God truth. 
Mm. I tell people, and you know, what I mean, I'm a, I'm a huge Christian. I'm not ashamed of it. I'll always talk yeah, about, it. I'm happy I also, about it. But I also respect all other other religions too. And we disagree to agree all, or agree to disagree all the time. That's okay. That's how the world's supposed to be. But right. no matter what religion you, or who you pray to, I believe it's all one God. We just mm. might have different names for it. But no matter who you are, when you say, Chris, we want to help this guy out. Mm -hmm. you, you're on the same track as I am. Right. I don't believe in hating anybody. Uh, if comfort came up and punched me in my nose, I'd be mad at comfort. I wouldn't hate the entire world. Right, sure. <laughs> I mean, yeah, me. Because I can actually do that, Chris. I can really do that. I can really punch you in the face. <laughs> I, I've been hit a few times, but I think if people just learn to, um, it's, so e it's so much easier to hate than to love. Yeah. It's so much easier to be negative than to be mm. positive. That's very and true. The sad thing is that passive people, and we got some negative people out there. It's normal. You know, yeah. I just don't like when they cross me because I try to make them a positive person. It doesn't always work, let me tell you. But, <laughs> you, know, uh, you, you know what? You know, you know what? You said a few things which felt like you read my mind word for word. Why I brought up this, uh, this uh, gesture you did last week, you know, leveraging on love as marty would call it right uh i was going to ask you have already started answering it but i would like you to dwell on it again to make a few things clear so that people should be patient i was going to ask you have said it whether this was an official lunch that all right officially have opened up for people to come up for help because as much as they have come to you they have also come to me to say can you please Yes. make my stuff public so that I get some help. Can you say something more to that, please? Right. People well, to listen, I, I, and right, as, as, uh, as people, I announce every day what I, I send to William. People are seeing that, and they think, my God, that could that could help me out a lot of it, and I see it. So not just you covered. I maybe Chris, this person wants to get in touch. I'm getting emails, and I tell them, well, listen, just tell them this is something that I'm doing right now, but be ready because this is what I'm, Obless will be doing when it officially launches. Exactly. I always said since I started is Obless is going to help a lot of people out and you could still help without Obless before it's launched. You can still help people out. And this was part of something that I'm not kidding you. It's, this isn't something I just said, I'm going to do it. God said, no, no, you, you're going to do this. I want you to do it. Yeah. Um, and some people understand that some people don't, but the joy I feel every day knowing that, uh, mm -hmm. every single country in the world has donated to a guy they don't know. I've only known William for a few years. He would send me pictures of his orphanage. And then oh. he sent me a picture one day of this roof being tore off. I'm like, oh, what's that? Chris, <laughs> it's raining. We don't have a roof. Probably. Oh, and I said, I got, we, we got to fix that. Yeah. That's what it started off. Yeah. And then I realized what he really wanted to do. It, I was addicted. I can't stop. I'm going to have to ask more people. Hey, guys, this is a good cause. We're not helping one individual. We're, we're actually helping William complete a dream that he's had his whole life. Mm -hmm. Helping not, not just 400 kids, thousands and thousands of kids. And educators are coming to teach in that school. All right. His mm -hmm. whole community, the whole mm -hmm. community that William's from Rwanda, Africa, he's helping out. He's helped out. Thousands of people with medical bills giving them. And I want him to tell the story. Yeah. Like giving away things that help. Okay, goats. He gives away goats so they can have fresh milk. And when yeah. those goats give birth, they keep and it keeps going. This guy is amazing. And I'm like, why wouldn't I want to keep helping this guy? But I do understand that this is an individual thing with a lot of people, but it's mm -hmm. not officially a bless. But that's what a bless is going to be because. 100% of the donations that came to me to go to William, I gave 105% because mm -hmm. I wanted to make, if you gave me $200 after transfers, you're down to, you're down to 160 bucks. No, mm -hmm. no, $200 is going to William. That's how I've done it. That's how I'm going to keep doing it. But yeah, it's, it's, you got to just want to do it. If you don't want to do it, then you really don't have the heart for it. Not everyone's okay. for this, you know. Yeah, I, I think all of this explains the reason for your happiness, Chris, because uh, like we would hear every day, blessed is the hand that giveth and the one that taketh. You know, you just watch those children running around playing those balls, using <laughs> the toilets and stuff. You are just like, oh my god, you know. So what else? 
can make somebody happy. And that's the heart's desire now. We're just like, Mr. Mufare has a reason why you and myself are part of this whole movement. Yes. He just wants to see this, or he would really like to see this happen. Does everybody think like this? <laughs> so, you know, so. He just doesn't, the honest truth is he said it over and over. I, I, I care about people. People right. first, business second. I mean, that's really what he's trying to tell people. He said it all along. And we still have people, some pretty grumpy people in here. Why hasn't this gone yet? Hey, I'm, I'm, I am very patient when it comes to you're going to do what? You're going to give me what? I have to do nothing? Man, I'm going to be patient for how long it takes. But I know that how long it takes is coming to an end here soon. And I think people will be happy. They'll forget about some of the negative things they said. And uh, I'm sure I'm going to get a few apologies for, I don't know why they don't have to apologize to me. I simply say, uh, if you don't believe, just, you know, you can ask for your money back and I'll help you do that. But they get mad when you say, I'm not trying to get them mad. I'm just saying if, if I belong to the comfort contour school and I just didn't like it, I would leave. I wouldn't put my exactly. through self of that. You know what I'm saying? But I'm happy. I'm content. And I'm going to tell you what. Go help one individual out today. I don't care where you live. I don't care if it's giving them a cup of water, giving them a dollar or $10 or taking them out to dinner. Mm -hmm. You're going to find out why I'm happy all the time. You're going to understand the, the, the giving part is we've always said is a hundred percent more than receiving. The problem right. is when you give, you have no idea the receiving part that comes your way. And mm -hmm. when it hits you, your eyes, your heart and everything opens wide up. Like, Oh my God, I got, I got to do that again. I want to do that again. So that's how I think. That's very true. There are a lot of people are just confirming what you are saying. Colin says there is profound joy in giving than receiving. People will remember you for what they, they, they give and not for what they own. You know, so my people... favorite tech guy, Colin. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just I'm just trying to look at a few. It's just that there, there's so so much very sweet comments, Chris. So we, we we have enough support. Giving increases our lives in many different ways. That is very true. You can read that on Chris Johnson's face, guys. Oof. Let's go giving. Let's just go loving. It's, yeah. it's have everything that it, it takes. It would so, be such uh, a pretty world. I you know I just read an article um, that the, the that one of the governments are sending Ukraine like four million dollars worth of ammunition hmm. and you know and, and and i know they need help and i know they're struggling but you know why can't it be 400 million marshmallows or or, or roses why does it got to be something and they're defending themselves you see i i believe on passive is going to change a lot of mindsets yeah. from war more people you know it's true like they say at work the happy worker is the more productive worker. That's the same thing through life. If people aren't happy in life, they're going to forget about hate and everything's mm -hmm. going to be good. Man, all it takes, if everyone took care of their neighbor on the right, it's a big circle and it goes all the way around the world and it's going to come right back to you. That's it's the way I think. Now, <laughs> I pray every day. Does God tell me no sometimes? Oh, he's told me no many times, but it's for a reason. There's reasons right. for everything. And every one of you are here because of a reason. And you probably just don't know it yet. Right. Exactly. Thank you. So I'm going to let go of your first passion now. Let's move to something new, but still the same thing, right? You know, uh, you, like myself, we have watched on passive growth right from inception or at least from where we joined to now as you and I sit here talking. How do you feel? about the development, the growth, the transformation, and where we are now with this business. Whew. Let's see, when I started, you know, there really wasn't, I mean, in 2020, there, there wasn't really a lot going yet. It was just things that were said. And now I don't have a ladder high enough to see where we're at. It's that big. The growth, and, and, and not just the company growth of all the things that we know that are coming at us, but the people that grew with yes. it, the yes. people, the people that were silent and were afraid to talk are now doing crazy things like I'm doing, getting on lives, making posts, raising their hand to say, listen, I got something to say and I want to hear you. I want to hear what you have to say. The people have grown with Unpassive. Unpassive, but, but Unpassive was the magic fertilizer. It was the water that created all these individuals to come out and say, oh man, 
I, I, I gotta, I gotta help out with this. I, I want to be part of it. Uh, yeah. Money. I'm sure there's people still think about money, and that's normal. But it's, it's not about money anymore. It's just not anymore. Help. Yeah, I had long forgotten because the ride on its own is so sweet. It's just a merry-go-round. You know, it's just so yes. it feels good, right? So. Right. Whoever is thinking about money, missed it. They don't. They don't get it yet because it's it, it's nothing about money anymore. The moment you sign that DNA or NDA, it's no longer about money. <laughs> Not DNA. We don't want to sign no one's DNA. <laughs> <laughs> we can do that. Yeah, I knew you. I get you on one of those. I used to say the same thing. Get your right. DNA, and they're like, "What are you talking about?" You, sign the DNA. you mean that? Yeah, DNA? yeah, that too. Did you sign that too? Sign. We can sign that too. Everything is possible with passing anyway. Let's see how we can sign our DNA. That's good. <laughs> oh, the DNA is being passed. The, the DNA of a passive. You know, we all have. A, a, and this is funny. You said this. There's a reason that you said it, and then I <laughs> joked about it. In our family's DNA, we have things that we know might we inherit cancer, uh, diabetes with this guy here, mm -hmm. all this stuff. But in passive DNA, I don't think anyone's talked about this yet. It's really weird. The in passive DNA is uh, almost like pure and helping. And if something does happen to one of our family in their mm -hmm. DNA, guess what? A passive, I believe, will have a solution for it. With right. Guys, artificial intelligence is an amazing thing. Yes. And it's going to be, we think for it, and then it quadruples what we're thinking. Um, I believe diseases are going to be cured. Yes. Uh, wars are going to be stopped. Yes. There's going to be all, lives are going to be saved because of artificial intelligence. And what better to work for a company that's 100% artificial intelligence? I'm very proud of that. Very proud of that. I know. It's, it, we cannot be proud enough, Chris. We can't. So, you know, uh, right now, you and myself, like any other person, we are just constantly looking at our watches to see all oh, connect, go commercial. They <laughs> relinquish everything to us so that we start playing. Nobody should do what I did last time. But if you can't, if you really feel like doing that, just do it because it's all yours, right? Mm -hmm. With them. So I, I'm, I'm just trying to say, Chris, for the past couple of years, for decades, we have seen video conferencing platforms come and go. We saw some that actually survived and saved mankind, especially during the COVID pandemic. Yes. Yes. But unfortunately, there are no two ways of saying it. These products are really ugly. Yeah. Would you would you proudly tell someone who doesn't know about on uh, uh, on passive or play uh, or connect that a beautiful one is finally born? Yeah, you know what? That's actually an excellent question, Comfort. And right now, because I said that I'm processing, how do I even answer that? Well, let me say first that you're looking at a guy right now who has been on O Connect, who got to play with O Connect. That was one of uh, maybe two or 300 people that actually witnessed on the panel. And then there's another 76,000 people who are witnessing it as it happened. Now, that alone is a big, big win for Unpassive and O-Connect. I was like, oh my gosh, he did it. He did it. Me, I was, how many people are you going to have to have on a Zoom that maybe hold, I'm not a Zoom, an O-Connect of uh -huh. 1 million people. The people that do music, I think it's going to help out. Hey, let's, you know, hey, Comfort, I'm coming over. I'm bringing my guitar. Let's grab right. some drums. You grab the flute and, we'll, and we'll start a band and we're going to show a million people what we created in the basement uh -huh. of our house. All right. Now, I tell people, say, well, who is going to want to be on Lick it? You're never going to see a million people on a panel. Yeah, he can do it. Ab absolutely. But right. the thing is, he's doing something that somebody said, you can't do that. And he said, you don't ever tell Ash Mafara you can't do that because that drives him. He's like me. Oh, really? Watch me. And he did it. But when I got on there and witnessed it, I'm like, the very first time when he first we first did it, there was like nine of us on the panel and you know, in the, the Z product. Okay. When you talked and everyone else was talking it's drowning each other out. I said, I looked at Mafara or I asked, sorry, boss. I looked at Mafara and I said, brother, brother, let's sing all sing happy birthday. I and, know. And we all sing it together and you can hear everyone's voice. Nothing was cut out. Of course you don't hear the background noise because he's got that filter in there. And that was like, okay, I'm convinced. 
Right? Just from those two things, I'm convinced. And then the next week and the next week, each time it got bigger, better, faster. And I still don't believe you said everything on Out Connect. And I think that's what a passive products are. It right. might say it might say comfort as your name, but we know now there's a lot more to comfort. Just like our oh, product, yeah. it's oh, not yeah. just a name, guys. It's yep. solutions for all. And if you don't know comfort, all right, and you don't know a passive. Be ready because you're about to get a whole entire book this big of this is what we got on one product. Yes, this is free. yes, yes, yes. yes. Good night. Uh, good night, son. Go, go. Hi, buddy. <laughs> He's coming to say good night. Hello. Sorry. Oh, come on, bring him on. We love kids. <laughs> Yes. Okay. You know, Chris, thank you. Of course, you know, you can actually write an en encyclopedia. If you want to talk about Okone, you will go on and on and on and on and on and because that's just what it is. So, uh, you know, it's comfort. It's a beautiful product. The reason I say that is because the stereo system effect, if you've gone to the drive or a movie theater and they have that surround sound, that's what it sounds like. The clarity. Yes. And I'm not just saying, oh, Chris, you're just saying that because you're a you're a founder. Hey, if I wasn't a founder and I got on that for the first time, which by the way, don't tell anybody when I get my magical link, I'm gonna be going to businesses here. Check out this link. Give me 10 minutes. I'm gonna drive home and let's go on and you tell me if you can use this and let me show you that it's cheaper, faster, better, and your clients are gonna love it. Exactly. Not tell anybody that secret, but that's what I'm gonna do. Yo, let, let's, guys, let's not tell anybody. All right, we didn't hear anything. <laughs> How many of you, in the last anywhere from four and a half to five years or a year to two years, have tried explaining to people what a passive was, but they wanted to see it and they want to touch it? Guess what? They're about to see it. They're mm -hmm. about to touch it, and they're gonna be buying you lunch for the rest of your life. We're like, oh my god, why didn't I listen to you? I yeah, know. That's, that's a passive. <laughs> a passive doesn't. It's never going to fail anyone. It's just going to keep getting better. And it's unstoppable. It's unlimited. And mm. uh, residual income as follows with that unlimited. So remember that. All right. And yes, exactly. Sure. So you are not done yet, yet uh, Chris. I'm sorry. I have to keep you here as long as I, I can. <laughs> as long I'm as I can. Tired. It's okay. <laughs> so listen, what are your expectations for tomorrow? <laughs> Okay, let me think. I talked about <laughs> guys, guys, tell us while Chris is speaking, tell us what are your expectations for tomorrow? Sure. I, I, I talked about this on actually my live today, and my expectations are this listen, greatness, <laughs> unlimited, yes. phenomenal, beautiful, wonderful. That is my expectations every time we do a corporate webinar because Jesus, that's what yes. I see now. As I said this morning, very important to all founders. Now, listen to me if you didn't see my life. And if you didn't see my life, shame on you because I say some pretty funny things. <laughs> you as a founder, you already see there's people texting me, right? You already know what's coming your way. Um, comfort actually recognize the Bible and the story. And there's a lot of things in there about God and love and peace. Yeah, you know, in the end of a Bible or, or the Quran, whatever you read, you know the end of the story. You know the outcome. Yes. As founders, you already know what's coming to you. When this mm -hmm. guy, Ash Mafar, and my favorite word, had the audacity to tell us, your dreams are not big enough. Dream bigger. Yes. If that, if you don't know what he was saying, I know what's coming. I, I don't have any thoughts about it. I already know that the greatest company in the world is going to be born to anyone that wants to join it and it's going to help out everyone. So my expectations are we won a long time ago. Now everything else after that is just bonuses. That's how I look at it. Yeah. Best answer I can give you. Woo! Nice try though, Robert. Nice try. <laughs> I know. But then you got me really right. I'm just so proud of you. Thank you. Because that is just the way to think about it. That is the only expectation you should have every day, day in, day out, day out. You don't have a dis different expectation last week and have another different one next week. It's all the same. The same. If you got it right from the moment you signed it. I, it I agree. I, I said to myself before, when I was younger, my mom and dad taught me many things. God, I miss them. Um, one of them was 
Never set your never set yourself up for failure. So in yes. other words, they're saying if you stay positive your whole life, even if you do fail, you're still gonna be positive about it. You hear all the greats, Ash Mafar says it, all the great actors, anyone that's accomplished something says, Listen, mm -hmm. if I didn't fail, I wouldn't be who I am today. Yeah, so they true. were positive about their failures. Mm -hmm. uh, we use excuses with the chicken guy, Kentucky Fried Chicken, 50 or 1,013 times or whatever till someone finally listened to him. Walt Disney was, was deemed a guy with no imagination. Michael yes. Jordan was deemed, you can't play basketball. I'm cutting you from the team. Wow. Please, someone <laughs> cut me from the team. Cut me from the team because I'm going to work 100% harder like these individuals did. So expectations, I have none for a pass because I already know they're there. Everything I expected is there. Thank you. I'm, I'm literally just so happy. That's just the way to go because I'm just, if everybody's like everybody else, anybody else, maybe I, I wish I need to learn a bit more English, Chris. Bear with me. You have great English. Are you kidding me? <laughs> That's a lot. How many languages do you speak? Well, I speak at least five languages. <laughs> Listen, they say people that speak two languages are geniuses. There isn't a word for you because you speak five languages. That means, you know, I only know one language and I, I know a few words in different languages, but I don't speak it. You are very intelligent. There, oh, anyone you. that learns more than one language, I think is, oh my God, they're superior. Wow. So <laughs> never sell yourself short. Even you, you listen. And I'm going to give you a little bit of my advice. And I do this all the time. I'm sorry, Comfort. <laughs> if ahead, you sorry. think that you can't do something without trying, you're never going to win. But I want to tell you a little right. secret. First of all, I want you to make sure you subscribe to my sister's YouTube channel. Because I want to help her out with that. Subscribe and like and click and however we say it. Okay. But. If you understand what's coming your way as a reseller when you haven't got in, into and passive yet, maybe you're one of those people that are shy or maybe you're not loud or, or outspoken. It doesn't matter. Maybe you have a, uh, uh, maybe you have a child or yourself as Down syndrome like my nephew, or maybe you have Tourette's, or maybe you just have a disability where you can't really get a job. Guess what? We got a job for you. It's called a reseller. You're going to be able to earn your own income. You're going to be able to take care of yourself. And that's what and passive is a tool to teach people how to live and live in the best way possible. That's all I'm going to say. Peter Rogers. Yes, he's here. Always there to support. Yes, yes. Of course, Chris, thank you. You're always reading my mind for some reason, but I'll let you get away with that. That's what I love. Hey, I didn't always think this way. I'm passive, believe it or not. And Ash Bafar's words has turned me around and say, why? Hey, I can do that. I can help people. <laughs> right. It's great. It really is great. All right. Thank you. So you have already said one of the things uh, I wanted you to say, already started talking to people. And again, of course, just a last word. What is your advice? One, to fellow founders, brand ambassadors, some have just gone to sleep and forgot to, forgotten to wake up because the company does everything for you and myself and stuff. And then there are others watching now on Lucas who were maybe sat on the, on the fence and they're looking deep down now. So what do you have to tell anybody now? Any last important thing that comes to mind, please? One, one thing that I learned last night for the Sleeping Bear founders, we'll start with them first. Um, I was talking to actually Tabitha from the Monk community and Chang Yang, and they were helping with some of the Monk community that were not registered in their OES yet. She says, Chris, go to the old, old founders and their phone numbers are in there. Uh, I kid you not. I took down every phone number, every name. And that's what I've been doing today. Text them. Hey, are you having issues with your OES? I'm here to help you. All right. Uh -huh. That's for the sleeping mirrors. Cause some people, they just got mm. plugged in. They don't know. Right. Okay. To the rest of the world. Um, if myself and comfort can change your life as far as maybe working in a factory or sitting behind a desk or whatever comfort or comfort did her whole life. I never liked what I did. I took the, the worst jobs in the world and I tried to make them better, but I was never happy. And I punished myself for over 40 years doing stuff that, man, I really don't like doing this. Exactly. We have a company 
that's going to allow you not have to go to a factory. We have a company that's going to be able to educate you no matter what time of day it is through Academy. We have a company that will work for you, not you work for them. When's the last time you heard them say that? A passive is going to work for you. You don't have to work for, for them. In other words, if you're one of those people that get up at 4 o'clock in the morning and go to work every day, all right, we're going to change that. I don't want you. The only reason I want you to get up at 4 o'clock in the morning is if you're going fishing, and I better be invited because then I'll be mad. <laughs> okay? If, if If you understand how long 30 years is, and I went 32, 40 altogether with all my jobs, but – People have been waiting for four and a half years for this to happen. And I use this all the time is, why don't you go work 30 years, wait for a pension, tell me how long that is and what you do to your body, how your body gets torn up from doing. And it doesn't matter if you're sitting behind a desk typing as a secretary or an office worker or you're throwing bricks, shingles, whatever it takes. It hurts after 30 years, okay? A few years of a passive, if you've been in it as long as we have, and when it happens, we're going to change the rest of the world, whoever wants it. Hey, man, we don't want you roofing that house no more. But the thing is, so many jobs are going to be created because 1,400,000 founders, I think in a year, are going to say, man, I don't I don't need to go to work anymore. And guess what? That's going to open up a job for it. There's going to be all kind of people hiring because yes. of passive founders. I guarantee you that. So, oh, don't get me going, Comfort. I'll be here all night. <laughs> I, I, I I get you on a thing. I, I really need to behave myself so that next time when I come calling, you're going to say, Yeah, I think I know she behaves well, so I can go there again. So yes. <laughs> I yes. will. Like I said, I'm just not like the uh the interview type because I don't want to make it about me. I'm crazy and goofy, and no. but I don't want them to think, oh, that's Chris Johnson. I want them to think about everyone, not just, just exactly. me or themselves. I don't me, myself, and I doesn't exist. You know what it exists, me, myself, and I when I go to sleep. That's it. When I wake up, I'm thinking about anyone I can, how I can help them. So and that's what we're doing. And I'm blessed right. by God that we can all do this. So yes. thank you. Thank you, Chris. Thank you so much. I really appreciate and believe me, whatever I think you are doing, it's not going unnoticed. Many people are learning from you, from what you are doing. One thing, apart from the humanitarian part of it, I learned how to smile because I smile when you smile. I just smile when you speak because you just make me feel like I want to smile. It's it's coming from my heart. I really do appreciate that. Keep it up. It feels good. You are just a therapy to many people like myself. Keep doing what you are doing. Yes. Be normal. You're doing a phenomenal job. All right. And all it takes, guys, all it takes is a little bit of effort to help someone. And all, all it takes is a little bit of effort to help yourself also. Don't be afraid uh, not to smile. Smile every day. Because mm-hmm. even if you're having a bad day, if you can learn to laugh and smile one of those bad days, your life's going to be so much better. But pretty soon, pretty soon, I think you're yes. all really going to be smiling. Not soon. very soon. Exactly. So, it'll be like a Dr. Benny smile. You know, she's got that. Exactly. You know, it'll be a Dr. Benny smile for sure. <laughs> Yeah. All right. Thank you, Chris. Thank you guys for joining and supporting us powerfully. Let's go ahead and share. Let somebody just feel this blessings that we've had this evening from our own brother in the house. Let's make this video go really far. It's been a blessing. Thank you all. Thank you, Chris. And see you all really soon. Thank you. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Thanks for having me.